Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play the Guild of Dungeoneering. It's time to go exploring once again to continue investigating this treasure. Give it back. It's time to give it back. But first we must send out a new adventurer. I think that we'll send out Skyanox the Shapeshifter. He's not out of turn since he's been brought back from the dead. So let's get to it, shall we? We're also very close to unlocking a new dungeon here. That will do soon. That's if Skyanox, of course, doesn't perish. You got the treasure! Defeat Bullseye Bill. I honestly thought that was a woman. Never mind. Bulwark and crewmate, though. That's serious business. We must make sure to put down no crewmates at any chance of, of, of any sort. Uh, there's no reason to get there early, though. Gunnery 2, Burly 3, Armed 2, Irritable 5, then Pickpocket 2, and Bulwark. So it's important to note that we'll need to have physical defence and ways to get through Bulwark. We'll start by placing down... Oh, actually, are you aggressive? You know, you're just furious. Okay. Ferocious, I should say. Let's charge, shall we, Skyanox? In we go. There goes one toe. All right. So we have a headbutt to start. Let's use the mundane trait to our advantage. With Aspect of the Panther. Savage, we shall block using this bark skin. What's next? A charge. We shall use this aspect of the bull back. And last but not least is a body slam which would normally kill us if not for this rekindle. This rekindle should serve us quite suitably. It'll finish the enemy and keep us alive. Leveling up Skyanox again. I think that we'll go for the Dead Lizard Charm for now. A good addition to our inventory. We've got 11 turns to go. This is a level 3 enemy, actually. This Master Gunner. Ah. Tough, spiky, and aggressive. We'll have to be careful about the Master Gunner. We can place this Rune of Fates down here, though. And there was a Sea Monkey. And a massive gem. Beautiful. I thought the Sea Monkey was pretty beautiful myself. Look at him there with his inner tube and his snorkel. Spark, if succeed, though, I'm going to discard. We'll have none of the success on my watch, eh? Failure all the way. Headbutt, full aspect of the bull back. So far the sea monkey's down to half health. Let's uh, maintain our momentum, shall we? Bit of a mind strike. Next is a yoink. We can focus and pre prevent yoinks from succeeding. Anger, well let's enkindle you. Actually we'll just, yeah let's enkindle you because that'll finish you off. Thanks to the focus damage that we prepared earlier. The sea monkey's down and out. So we could add the Tenacious trait, getting Shift and Interrupt, or we could add the Restore trait. Hmm. So now we'll go for Restore. They'd like to go for Arcane abilities, because I've already started in the Arcane tree. Give it back or you'll walk the plank! I don't care. <laughs> Did you think about that? We'll find a Hermit Crab here. Fountain of Combustion over there. Place a massive gem here as well. My crow form would like this. Well, crow forms aside, we still have a hermit crab to defeat. This hermit crab is tough, but we are tougher yet. We have bark skin. Wave is a lot of damage, but we have aspect of the dragon to negate this turn. There we are. Claw, time to aspect of the ball. Get some damage on both members of this battle. Spray, time to continue aspect of the ball. Regenerate a cycled away. We don't need regenerate for now though. So we shall focus instead. Healing us, storing damage for the next turn, which will allow this restore to deal bonus damage. And there we go. Three health remains. We shall focus again. Lose the rekindle, but that's okay. Let's aspect of the panther here. Actually we'll just mind strike, might as well. One more damage remaining. And this wave is no match for my aspect of the panther, which is unblockable. Take that, hermit crab. You have thought you were so tough. But the answer was no. No, you aren't. Here's the scroll of souls. Not really what we need. Yellow snow cone's not so hot either. This just gives us two health. For now, I'll take the, the ski here. But there are better options that I hope to unlock in the future. 
We'll put down these runes of fate, and we'll face a a wear crab because they're rubbish. So that'll do. A um, oarsman. Interesting four. You're going to shape shift into an oarsman, eh? You could just pick an or, an or up instead. <laughs> Let's slice. The oarsman shall be of little threat. As you can see, two aspects of the bull are enough to cut the oarsman down into an early retirement. So we get a pigeon nest on our head and lose health. We can replace that with crush. Well, the health is better than crush. You don't want to see Rosalita angry. I don't know, maybe I do. Maybe I'm into angry Rosalitas. Just put that there for now. Beautiful. Alright, Skyanox of 12 health versus the wear crab. New regenerating health is no real threat. We'll get an extra card for the privilege. That will immediately lose, so let's just use focus to maintain having cards. A stagger. Let's rekindle. Just make sure to have more health for the enemy at all times. This slice will help us out in that regard. A parry. Well, let's regenerate this parry. Strike, time to aspect of the bull back. Spook. We should be successful with this restore. The wear crab. You're almost out of here. We'll restore again. I mean, I could regenerate just for the loss, but <laughs> might as well actually. I should wash my mouth out. I used a hippie, <laughs> hippie trendy term, the lols. What is this speak? I'm a young person now. Oh no. <laughs> the wear crab's dead though. Feathered cap. That will give us refresh. There's the winged staff, which gives us arcane three. The spear of stabbiness. Let's get this feathered cap though. The refresh card is powerful and effective against our enemies. We'll grab this favor as well. Oh, you're aggressive. Hello. Well, we'll fight you. Master Gunner, you may be tough, spiky, and aggressive, but we have Aspect of the Bull. We must be careful to make sure we don't run into Spiky. Bullseye, the Gunnery 5 card here, well, let's slice you back. We're going to start digging a bit if we don't start getting uh, some better cards. We're going to start digging with this focus here. The music intensifies. It's a good thing we have this ski pole. Man, this guy's just bringing the heat, isn't he? Well, let's, uh, let's regenerate. Shoot, gunnery one. Well, we'll survive and we'll get some damage in ourselves of this rekindle here. A master gunner is a dangerous foe. I'm glad we have the refresh now. I'll probably use that next turn. In that case, let's mind strike now. There we are, head blow. Let's have the head blow happen. We didn't lose our refresh either, which is nice. This restore. So we use the restore now. I'm not really looking forward to the enemy reshuffling his deck, that's for sure. Aim! You gain conceal for one round. We have a refresh back though, which is useful. Let's use aspect of the bull now. We have no idea what the enemy's up to this turn. So we rekindle. You're reloading, okay. Another reload. Can we kill you this turn? The answer is no. It also means the next turn's gonna... gonna suck. What do you got for us? Shoot! That is four points of damage. Which means that we can kill you with this aspect of the ball. Yes indeed, let's do it. A close battle though, the Master Gunner was a capable enemy. Credit to him. So we've got some snowballs here. A warhorn. The warhorn is going to be the choice because it gets us to grow five. Let's grow five, grow four. 
does come with two bad, bad side abilities though. We've also got no body item. So we've got a bit of a weird conglomeration of things. It's a good thing I've got this massive gem. You won't like her when she's angry. Maybe I will. Maybe I'm into that sort of thing. I wish I could turn into a massive gem. I'd like some better items. Savage to start us off. That is savage. Well, that's just aspect of the bull back. His enemies are starting to get a little bit more dangerous. Have you noticed? I'm not going to have you steal my rejuvenates. Let's use it immediately. You'll take the holy seal. That's okay. We'll slice you. Cut you up, as the saying goes. Let's rekindle. Yoink. Well, we'll uh, aspect of the dragon, this. Here comes the holy seal. Let's regenerate. And finally, aspect of the bull. The cranky parrot is no more. It petered out pretty fast, to be fair. So we could get rid of a few bad abilities here. The broken bottle would just give us shift. But I think the flintlock makes a bit of sense. Gives us fury, flame lash, and ignite. Yes, but we do lose health for it, which is my concern. My you, our abilities are pretty, pretty okay. We've not got too many just dud abilities hanging out, so... Five turns to get more items. One, two, three, four. Probably gonna have one more over here. Beautiful. That's right, these items are beautiful indeed. Fury and Respite are at work here. Let us start with this Restore. Okay, a Pummel. Yeah, the enemies are getting serious here. Let's rekindle to avoid the yoink. A Lunge. Or you can rejuvenate here. And it also dodges this problem. We can Flame Lash to finish. Fire 2 for the win. So we could have the Ice Shield, and honestly I'd really like to try out the Ice Shield with a future build. Um, I just don't need to be crushed. Like, this plus the Ice Shield would be amazing. Uh, but I think it'd be foolish to sort of move away from what I've currently got. Because um, I'd lose, like, my two best cards, right? So, I mean, Firestorm's not bad either, but... I think here we just have to take some gold. I would love a body item. But in the future, I really want to try an Ice Shield plus the Brass Knuckles. I think that'd be great. Alright, this is good. This is a nice route. Let's charge. Charging in there. Warhorn. Blowing his Warhorn. Firing his Flintlock while wearing a feathered cap. Is Skyanox. The Shapeshifter. Werecrab taking some serious damage. Let's rejuvenate away this claw and Drain. I wanted my face to be nice and unblemished after this battle. The Werecrab continues to move forward. We have the Ignite here. This is quite useful. The Werecrab is quite a defensive monster. And this will just put a clock on it. Now we just have to just not die now. It shouldn't be that difficult. Especially with all the healing that we have in our decks for this very eventuality. I only have to do one more point of damage and this this aspect of the panther will do it. And the Werecrab is defeated. Excellent. We could have the Mariner's Medallion, which would remove our best cards. This would remove our best cards. And this would remove our best cards. So we'll take some gold. You're aggressive. Getting in there for an extra fight. We don't need this up. Thank you. You do a bulwark though. So have to be careful. We can rejuvenate though, and you are mundane. There we are. So just laying into the magical attacks, this fire blast will do quite well. Just basically don't want to poke with physical attacks and we're fine. Like even this still works because of mundane. And there we go, three-headed monkey. No threat. Finally some body armor. It's either mind strike or the repel. Let's get the repel, the plus two health and the repel. Makes up for that ski pole I turned down earlier. We'll place this down here. What's this you consider burning a card? Honestly, these cards aren't bad though, so I'm not sure which is the worst card that needs burning. I think I'm going to burn this aspect of the panther. 
because this has no uh, magical blocks anyway. So a one damage attack is not that exciting. Look at this uh, monkey here. This three-headed monkey. It's easily dispatched. Beautiful. We're crab time. And with a slightly thinner deck, I'm sure things will just go better for us anyway. That's Aspect of the Bull. Fire Blast! Only down to half health is the wear crap. Or Flame Lash. If you look closely on the quick cards when they're played here, they get a very uh they get a little one icon. Even though they shouldn't. But they do. <laughs> sort of thing I notice. Polish mistakes. Alright. Almost finished with this here wear crab. We've got a lot of defensive cards here, so. Having Spike you would work really well with this character. Speaking of defensive cards, yay! <laughs> Aspect of the dragon time now. Greetings offensive cards, where are you? Here you are. I only need one more point of damage now. And the ignite shall finish you. Boom! Where crap is gone. Skyanox lives on once again. A sword. Yeah, just take gold. Taking the, the gold now. The aggressive three-headed monkey marches in. But as it proven last last battle, or battle before, the three-headed monkey is a very quick battle with the amount of magical damage that we have at our disposal. Already down to the half health mark. Now down to the 10% health mark. And my fury now activates. Not that it's relevant, because uh, I'm just going to rejuvenate to finish. And there we go. So we're going to have the mine stuff. Now for me, this is... Where are the body items? Well, I suppose I've already got a body item now. I'm not really having any need to complain, am I? Just put a line of massive gems down. Cranky Parrot. And then it's time for Rosalita herself. Actually, not Rosalita. It's this little minion person. Alright, well, we're nearly there. Just rejuvenate here. Cancel out this turn. Stupidity, eh? How would you like to be on fire for that mistake? How would you like to be on fire for real? There you are. Fire! We invented fire. One more point of damage will finish you. And I shall, uh, I shall be just cheesy and just use this holy seal. Oh! What a wasted move. <laughs> we got a spiked shield. We have a cavalier's hat. We have a snowman head. We're just going to take gold, though. Bill attacks in one turns, plural. Let's find another cranky parrot, shall we? A bit more gold. Now we'll just put this down here. Guildmaster was looking for one of these. That's right. Time to attack Bullseye Bill. After this quick parrot. Aspect of the bull. Oh, yes. Check out my aspects. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> well, rejuvenation across the nation. We're doing pretty good, it's gotta be said. We'll flame lash here. Bit of a wasted fire blast, but that's okay. One more point of damage is required, and aspect of the dragon to finish off the cranky parrot. Steal where I generate all you want. You're not gonna draw it in time. Could add that climber's axe the wooden shield, but I shall take gold and accept my duel with Bullseye Bill. I'll feed you to the fishes. All right, Bullseye, let's see what you got for us, shall we? You got Bulwark, you got Crewmate, you're gonna start off with a yoink. Well, I can rekindle, it'll only heal myself, but you'll still take it anyway because of the yoink effect. Oh no. Well, there you go. Well, uh, I will just have to pass here. So I'll just aspect of the bull. Yeah. Not a great start to the battle. Let's repel. 
his bulwark prevents his self-inflicted damage. Wow. Okay. Well, we have a fire blast here. Two points of damage. This is good. I'm actually going to draw one card here because I didn't like the fact that I lost a card. So this is not going to do any damage. We need to focus with it, really. But that's okay. We can afford to have a bad move from now and, now and again. We'll wholly seal this. we going to negate the damage. A head blow. We'll fire, but we'll bark skin this, rather. I saw the fire for the flame lash then. I was like, oh, I must say that word now that I've seen it. Okay, so we can restore now because Bulwark is there, which will allow it to go through. Sorry, the self-inflicted damage negates Bulwark. But we'll recharge. Let's rejuvenate then. If you're going to heal, I'm going to heal too. How's that? That's just going to straight up steal a card. Um, I guess I play rejuvenate. And you take Flame Lash. Is he just going to steal all my cards? Well, I can't play this yet, because it'll just get ruined by Bulwark. But if he inflicts himself damage, then I can get my Ignite in. There, there we go. Set him on fire. Now he's wrecked. The Bulwark was a tricky challenge to get over, but we did. And my Fury activates now. Not that I think it's very relevant, because I'm about to rejuvenate. And there we go, Bullseye Bill is defeated. Ha <laughs> ha! Well now, this is just really quite surprising. Thanks to you, I've lost a wager. Against all odds, you're surviving. Next time, I hope you find more danger. Skyanox has rolled the Pyromaniac trait again. Who could have predicted that? Oh wait, he kind of is one. <laughs> oh dear. Well, when we come back next time, more Guild of Dungeoneering.